Hey there, I'm Robbie with Category 5 Technology TV, and tonight I'm going to be introducing you to liquid cooling for your PC. In particular, I'm looking at this device. This is the Thermaltake Big Water 780E, and the reason I wanted to look at this one from Thermaltake is because everything's included in one easy box. So you just have to buy that one box, and you've got everything that you need to get started. You don't have to shop around and hope that you've got everything, and then find out, oh no, I forgot to buy the hose, and then all the liquid spraying all over your computer, and that would be nasty. So this is a 3U ESA certified device. That means, well, that's the Enthusiast System Architecture from NVIDIA. It's an open standard for uh, doing things like monitoring the fan, monitoring, monitoring the level of your liquid so that you can actually tell if your liquid is uh, running low through software. So that's very cool, and it gives you a lot of, of other features that we're going to be looking at in, a, in just a few minutes as well. So contained within this device, we've got the radiator, the fan, the pump, the liquid coolant reservoir, the ESA sensors, the flow indicator, Everything that needs to uh, happen for the liquid cooling is happening right here, which is nice. It's all self-contained and really sleek. Uh, we've also got the hosing that comes with it. The liquid coolant is included. A nice little filling uh, hosey thing. I don't know what you call that. <laughs> and, of course, the copper water block. And this is going to allow you to cool your CPU using the liquid cooling system. That doesn't matter whether you're using an old P4 that's the socket 478. It doesn't matter if you've got a quad core 775 or even an AMD chipset. Uh, there are mounting brackets for uh, each of those. So let's uh, just kind of clear off this desk here and get started on uh, our liquid cooling system. We're actually going to take this right from the get-go and see how easy this is to install in our system. Now it's imperative when installing a liquid cooling system into your computer that outside of your chassis, before even thinking about installing this thing, that you test it. You don't know if it got damaged during shipping. Somebody could have dropped it or thrown it off of a tall building. So we just want to test it for the safety of your own equipment. So what we want to do is we want to just grab this hose that's included with the Big Water 780E and uh, just unravel that. We're going to pull a small piece of that off, um, which is going to be you know garbage at the end of this but it's going to give us the assurance that this is going to work just fine without any leaks. So one of the things with the hose is you've got to make sure that your pieces are long enough that it's not going to crimp like this, okay? Because that's going to, you know, what a garden hose does, you're not going to get any water flow if it's like that. So we want to just check how long does this piece have to be in order to connect it to, to that. So we're going to need about a one foot uh, piece of hosing here. So we're just going to grab our scissors and cut that. There we go. And once you've got your one foot piece, we're going to install the Q connector. And what this is, is just uh, like a quick connecting uh, for the liquid cooling system. So we're not going to install these permanently, so we're not going to use any clamps or anything like that. We're just going to pop this on this temporary hose. And this is just for the testing procedure. So we just pop that right on there. There we go. Now grab your Q connector end, snap it right in, make sure it's nice and snug, and do that on both the in and out on your liquid cooling system. So it's nice length and it's not going to uh, crease at all. Next step to the test is we need to put some liquid into here. So let's open up this device, grab our handy filly thing. I'm going to give it a name. We'll call it George. All right, grab our liquid cooling. Don't drink this. So when we want to fill the reservoir here, we don't want to start pouring directly from the uh, refill tank because, of course, if you spill, that's going to make quite a mess, especially when this is in your computer. So just grab George here, squeeze the air right out of him, just right down there, and just pop that hose right in there and just release. And you'll see that that will just start just through standard suction. We'll fill that right up. All right, so now that he's refilled, we can just insert that into there and start filling. Now remember, the first time that you fill your liquid cooling system, it's going to take a little longer and you're going to use a lot more fluid because of the fact that the radiator currently has no liquid in it. So you're not only filling the reservoir tank, you're filling the, the radiator as well. So there's really two ways that you can run this test because, of course, the unit has to be powered on in order to test it, right? So if you have a safe way to set this up directly to your computer, then that's okay. Turn off your computer, set this down you know, next to it or something like that, keeping in mind that if there is a leak, it could spray liquid out. So make sure that it's not going to come in contact with your computer itself because that's danger. Um, and then you can plug this in, turn on your computer, and then you'll be able to tell if this is working just fine with no leaks. Uh, but that said, uh, another way to do it, and the way that I'm going to do it today is just to take a power supply 
supply here and uh, a power supply tester which is going to automatically power on that power supply and then we're going to be able to safely do this you know on a counter or on our desk uh, without the risk of it coming in contact with any of our computer com peripherals had uh, like if the uh, device did leak so I'm just going to plug in my power supply tester to this unit here so just observe the manual for your liquid cooling system with regards to the power uh, connection. I've just connected this to the uh, Big Water 780E, this cable here that's included with it, and then I'm going to plug that into the power supply itself. So with the power supply's power switch in the off position, let's connect the power cable. And now, for the moment of truth, we're going to flip that power switch and see what happens. Now we're watching for two things here. First thing, we want to see that there's no liquid coming out of the device, leaking from the device itself. Then we want to watch down here and just see that there is uh, some water flow. So far there's not, but what we want to watch for here is that the levels stay above the low indicator. If they go below low, that's because, of course, it's filling up the, res the, uh, the radiator. So we want to watch that that stays above low. So we are watching this level here and noticing that it is going down below the low mark, so we need to fill it up even more. Now I can see and we can hear that as I get a little more liquid in there, now we've got some flow. See that hose? If you have any large bubbles showing their way on the hose, just kind of give the hose a little bit of a tap very carefully because you don't want to have the hose spring off. And there we go. So we're going to let that run for just a few minutes because we want to make sure that indeed there are no leaks and there's no problems with this device. All right, so after a little more than 10 minutes of uh, running this through the test, I'm confident that there are no leaks. There's nothing going wrong with this device at all. So I'm ready to install this in my system.